stop. It smooths like a lake. Nobody would ever know they were down there. Ah, ah, they bed feels good already. It's 48 hours so you don't sleep, Johnny. Come on, let's go up, yeah? You're forgetting, Doctor. What? My brother Mortimer. Johnny, tonight? No, we do that tomorrow or the next day. No, tonight, now! Yeah, no, Johnny, I'm tired. Tomorrow I got to operate. Yes, you have to operate tomorrow, but tonight we take care of Mortimer. No, oh, no, Johnny, I want to go to bed. I'm tired. Doctor, look at me. You can see that it's going to be done, can't you? Yeah, yeah I, I, I can see. I, I know that look. It's a little bit too late for us to dissolve our partnership. <laughs> oh, all right. We do it, but... but, but yeah? Is it, is it quick twist like uh, in London? No, doctor. I think this calls for something special. I think perhaps the Melbourne method. Oh, no, 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 Johnny, not that. Each two hours? And when it was all over, what? The, the fellow in London was just as dead as the fellow in Melbourne. We had to work too fast in London. There was no aesthetic satisfaction. But Melbourne, yes, there was something to remember. Remember? No, I wish I didn't. No, 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 Johnny, not that. Not now, not yes, me. Yes, doctor, where are the instruments? No, no, I won't do it, Johnny. Get no. your instruments. No, Johnny, I won't do it. Where are they? Oh, yes, you hid them in the cellar. Where? I will tell you. I'll find them, doctor. Don't do that, Mr. President. I can't sign any proclamation without consulting with my cabinet. But it must be a secret. A secret proclamation? How unusual. <laughs> Japan must have known until it's signed. Japan, those devils. I'll sign it right away. You have my word for it. I can let the cabinet know later. Yes, let's go and sign it. You wait here. A secret proclamation must be signed in secret. But at once, Mr. President. I'll have to put on my signing clothes. <sighs> you, you, you go, eh? Oh, no, Doctor, I'm waiting for something, something important. No, no, please, please, you go now. Dr. Einstein, I have nothing against you personally. You seem to be a nice fella. Take my advice and get out of this house and as far away as possible. Trouble, yeah, you go now. All oh, right, don't say I didn't warn you. No, 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 I'm warning you. Get away, quick. Things are going to start popping around here any minute. Johnny is in a bad mood. When he gets like this, he's a madman. Things happen. Terrible things. Jonathan doesn't worry me now. Demon! Don't those, those plays you see teach you anything? About what? Well, at least the people in those plays, they act like they got sense. That's more than you do. Well, you think so? You think people in plays act intelligently? I wish you had to sit through some of the ones I have to sit through. Take the little opus I saw tonight, for instance. In this play, there's a man. He's supposed to be bright. He knows he's in a house with murderers. He ought to know he's in danger. He's even been warned to get out of the house, but does he go? No, he stays there. Now I ask you, doctor, is that something an intelligent person would do? You're asking me. <laughs> he didn't even have sense enough to be frightened, to be on guard. For instance, the murderer invites him to sit down. Oh, I'm like, uh, you mean, uh, won't you sit down? Believe it or not, that one was in there, too. But did the fellow do? He sat down. Mind you, he's supposed to be bright, but uh, there he sits, just waiting to be trussed up. And what do you think they used to tie him with? What? The curtain cord. Why not? It's a good idea, very convenient. A little too convenient. When are playwrights going to use some imagination? The curtain cord. And he, uh, didn't see him get it. See him. He just sat there with his back to him. That's the kind of stuff we have to suffer through night after night. And they say the critics are killing the theater. It's the playwrights who are killing the theater. So there he sits, the big dope, this fellow who's supposed to be bright, just waiting to be trussed up and gagged. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were right about that uh, fellow. He wasn't very bright. Mm -hmm.